Hi, my name is David Lumsden, and I am the writer for Street Fighter Masters Kami Number One. I, I come from Ottawa, and um, I'm mostly known for my web comics work with um, Giselle Lagasse on uh, our, our line of Pixie Tricks comics. I've, I've worked on such uh, titles as uh, Menage à Trois, Eerie Cuties, Dangerously Chloe, Sandra on the Rocks, some of which are published by Ulan Comics. And uh, also, as, as the time of the recording, I, uh, we've just announced this yesterday, I have a a 250-page graphic novel coming out in October called Coral's Reef. So I started writing professionally. I think it would have started in 2008 when uh, when I um, partnered up with Giselle Legacy to do our um, our web comic Menage à Trois, and uh, things sort of snowballed from there. Eventually, I started um, doing other works in comics. I, I do uh, some manga adaptation. For Seven Seas, were basically they send me a translated uh, a script and I change the dialogue so it sounds less translated. So that's right. I'm the guy who's ruining all your mangas out there. I'm just trying to expand um, what, what I do uh, uh, from web comics in, into the mainstream because um, get a big, a wide audience on the web, but mainstream is where really you get kind of uh, sort of uh, recognition. Well, for me, I, I sort of always always knew it was going to be comics. Um, uh, I remember when I was very little, my father had brought this giant book of, I guess you call it old comic strips from the from the library once, and I would just I was going, flipping through it like mesmerized by all the different things, and it was like stuff like Crazy Cat and Buster Brown and stuff like I I never even heard of, and plus since I I grew up. Um, I grew up French Canadian, uh, uh, and um, and well, bilingual Canadian technically. And because of that, I got influenced by everyone. We had like all the European comics. Um, uh, we had the, the American comics. We didn't have mangas at the time, but we had lots of uh, French dubbed anime. Yeah, so it was just this big hodgepodge. And even British comics were um were, were like the Beano and the uh, the Dandy and the Beezer were available on newsstands here. So. I was influenced from everywhere, and I, I always knew it was going to be comics. I remember when I was six years old, I drew a, a in, in class a Qbert comic, video games already, and um, I, I couldn't I couldn't read yet, or um, and I could barely draw, and I so I, I showed it to my teacher, who just sort of like looked at it disapprovingly because I, there was no words, like uh, it should have words, and I'm like, okay, I worked on that. Well, basically, I'm what you call an, an idea guy. I, I can you can give me a concept, and then I'll just sort of have this sort of avalanche of ideas that'll just start uh, coming forth. Um, not all good, but uh, I tend to sort out um, the, um, the the good of the bad. Um, like uh, with Cami, I basically uh, uh, rewrote it three times. The first the first draft uh, was good, but Cami was barely a character in it, and I'm like, well. That's not right. It's a Street Fighter Cami Masters. It should feature Cami more. I base uh, so basically I rewrote it uh, where she was featured more, but it I, uh, it wasn't towards. I was almost finished with it that I realized it was sort of dull. I was basically Cami leading someone on a on a chase from point A to point B. Not much not much action. And then at, at which point I was like, I worked on this for so long. I'm probably never going to be asked uh, to to do to do anything for Udon again. <laughs> and if if I rewrite it, and I'm like, but then I had this idea where where I think everything came together, and I'm like, should I would be, I basically have to start from zero almost? And I'm like, I said, screw it. The readers will love it. Hmm. Classically, I would have said Chen Li. She back in the day when Street Fighter Two came out, everyone everyone I knew was into the, the Shoto fighters. So you were either Kai, uh, uh, Ryu or Ken, 
and I was like, uh, well, I preferred Chun Li because I was. I, I, I won't lie. I, I, I love I love the Street Fighting games. I'm really terrible at remi- remembering all the combos. But with, with Chun Li, I could just like spam this the lightning kick. <laughs> But if I had to go by just character, probably Jury, because she is just a, a delightfully crazy, and I just uh, I, I was like I, I was lucky enough to be able to use her in my in my Street Fighter ca- uh, uh, Masters Cami, um, so uh, I, I had fun writing her. <laughs> well, anyone who knows me um, knows that I'm a Transformers fan, so if I um, had to <clears throat> pick a dream project, probably. I would do something like a continuation to Transformers animated in comic form, or even uh, uh, the, the continuation of, of, the, of the original TV series, basically pick up where the show left off with the, 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 the toy line that was coming out at the time, and just do it in the style of the show and not, um, well, uh, not, um, you know, modernize it too much. But if I had to do something with... Um, the Street Fighter, I would want to do Jury versus BB Hood and just make it, you know, completely uh, as violent as possible, like a, 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 an M rating code. Just have just just complete mayhem happen. That that would be something I'd love to do. <laughs> hey guys, this is David Lumsden, writer for Street Fighter Masters Cami number one. Be sure to check it out when it hits stands in April.